Coming up, we're gonna show you how to replace the Mighty Board on the MakerBot. Hey, you're watching Pixel 3D, the show about audio, video, and 3D printing. I'm your host, Ekin, and today we're gonna show you how to replace the Mighty Board on the MakerBot replicator. Let's check it out. If your Mighty Board ever gets damaged, you'll be glad to know MakerBot offers replacement parts. Overheated boards is a common problem, but you can avoid this by simply removing the bottom panel of your MakerBot. This can actually help prevent the components from overheating. The first thing you want to do is label all of the wires. You can disconnect the plugs by rocking them from side to side, and you can use a flathead screwdriver to release the remaining wires. Before removing the Mighty Board, you want to make room by moving the bundle of cables to one side. To remove the board from the pins, you can use a screwdriver to push the tabs in. To release the board, you'll want to start pushing the pins on the left side, and then middle pin to release the board. Now you can align the new Mighty Board into the cutouts and snap the pins into place. Now it's time to reconnect all the cables. You want to take note that R1 and Y1 are now labeled as R0 and Y0. Also, EX2, EX1 is now EX1, EX0. Remember to keep a bot nice and healthy. After 80 hours of printing, you'll want to grease up those rods and brush its teeth. Uh, I mean, clean the extruder motors. All right, and that's it. Definitely check out our products on our Etsy page. And if you're interested in 3D printing, you can check us out on pixel3d.com. If you have any questions or if you want to share some of your videos, why not hit us up on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe on YouTube. I'll see you guys next time.